What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Merciless Rascal and welcome back to the Minecraft 1.19 Let's Play Survival series episode 7. And let's take a moment to look at our beautiful big chickens. This is Daddy Chicken 1, Daddy Chicken 2. They're so big and grown up. Look at them. I don't know what it says down at the bottom here, but I don't see a sheep. Why does it say sheep bars? These are all chickens. For some reason, these baby chickens aren't growing up. Like their, like their parents, for some reason, grow up, children, grow up. But this is animal cruelty at this point. We can't let these guys live like this. These living conditions are inhumane. You could say that they're in animal main. I don't know what I'm saying. So the plan for today is another build. Over there, there will be, imagine a barn. A barn where dreams come true. A barn where animals can live together and be free. Sounds just right, doesn't it? What's new, you may ask? Well, one, I've got myself new headphones. <laughs> Hopefully these don't break so easily. Two, as you know, we're low on iron. Okay, all of us are suffering. There's a big uh, pandemic right now. N not in the real world, no. <laughs> uh, in our server, with where we don't have any iron. So what I did was I went mining. I had to go in caves, etc. But you know what, with Fortune 3, it all works out in the end. Not that we need it in this episode though. So I say we jump straight into it, ignore the lag, and start planning out where we will build this barn. Every video starts with some deforestation, let's go. Is that good enough? I never know where to place my builds, guys. I never know if it's too close or too far away. How much space I need for a path. Is that good? Surely. So the primary block that we'll be using is mangrove wood, which is good because it's new. But there's also some mud in there. So I'm going to need to harvest my gigantic wheat farm from last episode to get to craft some mud bricks. Okay, so now we take what we have and we craft it into packed mud. Like so. So that's two stacks and a half exactly. I th think that will do. Crucial mistake, guys. Don't ever do this. But I forgot to fill the ground in. And the whole thing is, well, it's not level. And that kind of sucks. So, again, let's build a foundation again. still out of mud. We have two options. One, we craft the mud ourselves, but it might take a while. Or two, I just go and harvest it. Oh, and hey, whilst we're here, let's check the profits. Two stacks and a half. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What about the sugar cane? The bane of my existence. That's quite good. Why is it getting dark again? Please, just... Oh my, leave me alone. I think that should be enough. A stack and a half. And now I truly have unlimited access to mud. Because I live next to a mangrove swamp. And I also have a gigantic wheat farm. Oh yeah, plenty. With some left to spare. Which is good. Oh, actually no, because I need to... I need to fill these up, don't I? Now next on our list is quartz. And I'm wondering whether I should craft it into blocks or not. On the one hand, I want to never just to get this for redstone, and it's quite expensive. But on the other, I only have a limited amount of sand, it's my gravel too, and I need white dye to make white concrete powder. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice my bone meal. Is it worth it? That's quite a lot, actually. That's good, it's actually quite good. Oh, night time again! So now we MLG, and we do 7 right here from this block. What's there? I don't need concrete here, so bam bam. And that leaves us with 8 to spare. That's good. Oh, can I make it? Ah, oh, no. So now what I need is my mangrove wood, which I have a lot of. And I mean a lot, a lot. Oh, 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 what if I create a ridge? What if I make a ridge between the two? So I'm going to need some stairs. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. So we need 10. 
of these bad boys. Night time again! Just like when colouring in or just shading, it's good to keep one direction only. So that is exactly what I shall do. Ignoring that one lug over there, the other one out, this looks quite good. It's night time, but they're not gonna touch me up here. Well, unless phantoms spawn. But I slept. I, I slept recently, that's not a thing, no. Oh no! Ah, oh, lag is so annoying. So now we just rise up to the top using either mangrove logs stripped or mangrove planks. I can also take a, a step back and look at it. It's not bad at all. I'll take a step back to see the roof. Oh yes, that's a roof. And whilst you can see the difference between concrete and quartz, that looks so cool. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because, oh, you can so definitely tell that's a barn, right? And it's not even done. Now we are running out of quartz, sadly. I'll soon be out and I don't have enough to finish it. So another trip to the nether. Holy heck. Holy heck. Okay, that's plenty. I'm, I'm just gonna get this last bit and I'll leave. Those feel like my last words. Okay, I got my, my hands in some quartz. It's good enough. Three stacks and 40. So it's time to go. It's time to go. Oh, the relief that washes it over me every time I go through this portal. So it's... I can't explain it. And it's daytime. Great. Perfect. Again, let's check our profits because it's been a while. I... That is so good. Almost four stacks. Done. Well, at least this side. You know what one of the most satisfying things is? It's to have just the right amount of concrete. That is one of the most satisfying things, and it's good because I've got 4-4, four, four, which is 8, 4-4, four, four, which is 8, then I've got 4 up there, so it's always 8. It's it's so cool. We also have a visitor. Hello, sir. Not bad trades, not too bad. That, that interests me. That interests me. That's quite interesting. That's interesting. That's tempting. If only I had the emeralds for it. <laughs> I did spend them all on a wandering trader that actually gave me the mini block that's in there, the mini enchanting table. So I don't have any more emeralds to spend on them, unfortunately. But we had a good run. We had a good run, wandering traders and I. Now I just use them for heads. Guys, uh, it pains me to do this because I don't normally hold grudges against these guys, but I don't have any emeralds. So now all we have left is the sides and detailing and the interior, so quite a bit, and animals. So you see why I've made one episode just for this, right? Second side, let's go. Well, first side actually, one of the sides, let's go. So, I'm almost out of wood, and that was quite a lot used up there, so I definitely need to get some more, and it's also night time, so I need to sleep. Alright, I think I'm ready to go, I think I've got enough, so this side will be completed, now. So, barrels are expensive, <laughs> and annoying to craft, the quartz almost ran out, wood ran out already, I had to go get more, but it's done. All of the mangrove, all of the quartz, all of that, 
It's done, no more of that, and it looks fantastic. I love the barrels. They add such a nice touch. I mean, look at that detail. Of course, we could go for some buttons and add some pressure plates and stuff. That's good on its own, right? One barrel, some barrels facing this way, others facing down. It's such a good texture, and it fits this whole red theme very, very well. I basically replicated this entire thing onto the other side too, so it's exactly the same. I don't know if you can see. Made some interesting windows. Again, the, oh. Again, the barrels. And the only thing left is the roof. And for the roof, I was thinking, deep slate, but not just one type like that, two types. I have done some gradienting. You start off with this, and then you go up, and then you can't tell because I built over it, obviously, with the barrels and all the detailing, but it used to be very well gradiented. So why not gradient the roof too? A lighter and a darker side of deep slate, that could look quite cool. Okay, so here's what I mean. Let me just grab some deep slate. We've got loads of it, so we don't need to worry about wasting it or anything. I'm going to craft some tiles and some polished deep slate okay yeah cobbled deep slate it is oh it's night time again seriously okay so when we get up there i'll explain what i mean let's just start off with a few of these let's spice it up let's add a bit of cobbled deep up uh, mlg then we do this oh and by the way this is certain death so that's fun MLG, let's go. I don't know if you can see this, but there's there's a gradient from the darker to the lighter tones, and it's actually quite nice. So that's that's what I'm planning to do. MLG again, let's go. See, I'm not that bad. It's just lag, and it happens to not lag right now. Oh, profits, profits. See, you can see it from here. There's a very nice gradient. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Noah's Barn. A long, long time ago, when this barn was first made, uh, a chap called Noah came in and said, this is my barn now. And he vowed to collect two animals of the same species together. Two of the same animals, all in one barn. And he vowed to do that with every single one that existed. Today, we fulfill Noah's prophecy, and we shall collect two of the same animal, of as many animals as possible, and we shall place them in this here farm to fulfill Noah's prophecy. Oh crap, it's night. Oh crap, it's night. I swear there were pigs somewhere around here. Where are the pigs? Pig. Creeper! Oh no 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 no. Please fit through the door. Piggy please. Your home is right here. Inside this beautiful pen. You are the first inhabitant of Noah's barn. Welcome. Welcome. Oh! Oh this is a nice development. Oh crap. Oh no no. Ah, uh, I meant the beehive. Where's the water? Where's the water? There's no water? Give me water! Give me water! Anyway, back to this. Yes, I can see the moon! Oh yes, let's go. Okay, I think all bees should be inside by now, right? Pandas! Pandas! Oh, pandas. Oh no, I just hate that it's night. I hate it. I don't want to hit the panda, so... Axes. Okay. Panda, panda, panda. Come here. You? And have you got a buddy? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, damn it. Can you just go away? Why can't... Can they not... Can you lead pandas? Oh, you can't lead pandas. 
Oh, these guys are so- What? Panda, come back, come back, come back up here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. You did the same thing as your brother. Why can't you lead pandas? That's crazy. I'm determined now. It was barn. Shall have pandas. Guys, not now. That's it, that's it, that's it. Slowly, slowly. One at a time. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Don't push each other. No, don't push each other. No, no. This is your new home. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to leave you some bamboo. I'm going to get you a, a, a friend. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay, now for the easy ones. So those were the hard ones. It's time to get the chickens, the bigger chickens, and the cows in. If I let the cows out, it's gonna be madness, mayhem. Okay, fellas, follow me then. Follow me. Out you come. Out you come. Holy macaroni. These guys are eager. They are no pandas. Okay, let's go in here, guys. Let's go in here. Now, I'm also going to build a cow crusher in here. So that uh, I have constant food. And yeah, all hell has broken loose. Cow there. There's cows everywhere. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> Soldiers! There's no patching the suppers there. Well, it looks like I'm having food for days, boys. By temporary pen. You've made me proud for seven episodes this time. You know what? You shall forever stay in there. You shall be remembered. My inventory is a mess. This is the messiest one I've ever had. Crazy. I can't find anything in here. Where's my food? Where's my bread? You know what, guys? It's also time to say goodbye to this small farm. You, you were, you were good to me. You know, you served your purpose well, but you have been replaced. Goodbye. All cows, sheep, and chickens, follow me. And I believe this is the last one, the very last one I have access to. The last inhabitant of Noah's barn. We have quite a collection in here. A lot of farms. There will be a lot of use out of these animals. And it's finally done. So to conclude this episode, I know the interior isn't finished or even I haven't even attempted to do it, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Next one will be with all the boys. And we'll be up to some more shenanigans and perhaps record the finale of the Enchanting Table Heist. But for now, I'd like to thank you for uh, watching, and if you genu genuinely have reached the end of the video, thank you very much. I am very grateful. Have no mercy, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.